Hello everyone, my name's Lewis and today I'm gonna show you my university everyday carry um, and show you what's in my backpack for uh, when I go around university. Um, the stuff in the backpack that I'm gonna show you are all the stuff that I took in my first year of university and all the stuff that I plan on taking into my second year. So there's not much of a change um, between the stuff I took first year and second year. Um, and I'll try and leave a link um, in the description to as much of the products that I show in this video and I'll set up through Amazon affiliate links so that if you buy anything through those links, I'll get a little bit of a cutback as well, which would be really greatly appreciated. So if any of you um, like some of the products in this video and wanna try them for yourself, then um, links are in the description. But before I get into showing you the contents of my backpack, let's talk about why having an efficient and, and a slick everyday carry is an important thing to have. So in my experience of going through school and university, there are two main factors which can determine your overall success. The first being the people you surround yourself with, and that could be your friends, your family, or your teachers and lecturers. And the second is the amount of hard work you put in. And there are a number of things that can help how much work you put in. One of those being how productive you are, and the second being how motivated you are. And in order to boost those, there are a number of things you can do again. But one of the things that I like to do is to build an efficient everyday carry um, or have a good amount of equipment that can help me be as productive and as motivated as I can to be able to perform hard work um, when I'm revising or studying. So with that being said, let's have a look at what I actually carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis through university. Uh, a quick note here, not all of the stuff here I carry with me every single day. Sometimes I don't carry, you know, certain files or folders, but on average, this is the stuff that I take with me into university on a daily basis. So the first thing I'll show is my phone. This is the iPhone XR. I know it's a couple of years old now, but served me really well and I don't plan on changing this anytime soon. Um, I've got no problems with it at the moment so I can't really see myself changing from this. Um, I don't particularly use this a lot for work but you know I listen to music on the way into university or I listen to podcasts um, as well as I'll you know talk to my friends on there as well. Um, so it's a you know a really great phone. It's not super expensive obviously Apple products are tend to be expensive but this is probably one of their lower priced phones um, and it's good enough for what I need and I can see myself using this for quite a long time before I'll need to change. Um, in terms of the wallet that I use it's just a regular old leather wallet I believe this is from River Island. Obviously it's important to have a wallet because I carry with my, my bank cards I also carry my university ID um, and last year I carried my card to get into the building that I was living in so um, really important to carry around a wallet and this is just a regular old leather one which I got from River Island. So the bag that I use is a bag from Vans. Uh, this is, I don't know the name of the bag, but it's a blue, red and navy bag. This is super old, it's probably four, just over four years old now. I got this um, when I was going through my A-levels um, and it's held up really well. I, I've never really needed to change it. There's no sort of tearing around the straps which you can get on a lot of backpacks. Um, this is held up really well. It's not, you know, um, super expensive. I think this is probably £50, maybe £40 uh, when I bought it. And it's held up really well. Like I said, I took this through all of my A-levels. Um, I've took it through my first year of university. And it's carried some pretty heavy stuff in here. You know, you know, it's carried massive textbooks like this. Um, and, you know, there's no ripping at all on the seams or around the straps. So it can carry a lot of stuff and it can carry a lot of heavy stuff. Um, I don't always take that, you know, textbook in, but when I have taken it in, um, the straps have held up pretty well. Um, and overall, I don't, I haven't really noticed any sort of damage on the bag over the four years that I've used it. So I plan on using it quite a bit more. Um, so first of all, let's have a look at what's inside the front pocket. Um, I carry a few things in here. Uh, the first being my pencil case. So this is just a regular old black pencil case, which I don't even know where I got this from. Um, inside there, I carry um, some pens. Uh, this is a Parker pen. Um, I've had this for quite a while, which is a nice pen. Um, I also carry my um, pencil. This is one of those like clicky pencils, so it's pretty precise for when I'm doing graphs and stuff. Um, and I carry my Casio, forgot the name. FX991EX um, scientific calculator. You know, these calculators are not necessary for all students, but if you're doing anything sort of above GCSE level maths, 
Um, you've probably already got one of these, uh, but any anybody else has probably got one of the old ones. Actually, I think I've got one. These are the old calculators that we used to use for GCSEs. Um, you know, they're pretty good, but there's just more functions and more features on this one, which um, we use quite a bit. So that's what's inside my pencil case. Um, in the front pocket as well, I also carry with me a little notepad. This is really useful actually. Um, this is a brand new one because I've just finished my old one. But I would often, you know, forget some of my older notepads or my main notepads. Uh, and so I'd like to make little notes in here which um, I can then, you know, jot down later on neatly. But it's just like a little rough notepad. I can just jot down whatever I want. Sometimes I just draw random scribbles in there just to um, get something off my mind, I guess. But I carry this in there just to have some paper to scribble on if I want to do that. Another thing that I carry in here, which is becoming more and more important now, is hand sanitizer. So I used to carry this with me all the time, just for when I went to the toilets and stuff. Um, in university, I'd you know put some of this on my hand afterwards. But especially with the current global situation, having some hand sanitizer on you is probably going to be a must um, if you're going into university buildings. Uh, so I'll keep that on me definitely for the second year. And finally, in the front pocket is this little zipper compartment. So. For anybody who didn't see, there's a, a lot of compartments in the front pocket for pens and little notepads um, and a zipper pocket. And in here I carry a little SanDisk 64GB USB-A. Um, this is USB 3.0. Um, I haven't used this in ages actually, it's more of like a backup. Um, on here I've got all of my GCSE, all of my A-levels and all of my first year university work. This isn't my main storage device, um, I just carry this in my bag just in case I forget my main one and I need some sort of um, thing from the past uh, past year basically. Um, I probably update this every six, maybe three, six months. So I've got my main storage device which I'll show in a bit um, and then every three or six months I'll just chuck everything off there onto here. So. I've got a second copy of it, um, which is coming quite handy as well. I've used this probably three or four times in the past year, which has helped me out a lot for when I'm studying. So that's everything in the front pocket. Let's have a look at what is in the main pocket. This is the main compartment of the bag. There's only two compartments. There's no like secret zipper anywhere. There's just the front and the main one. Uh, so the first thing I'll show is probably the most important thing and what most of you have come to look for is my laptop. The laptop itself is carried in a Vuva uh, carrying case which I'll talk about a little bit because it's really nice. It's got this nice fabric feel on the front, it's a nice fabric design. Um, it's got two little zips compartments in the front which I carry cables um, and I'll show that in a bit. Um, this is probably one of my favourite features is this little carrying handle at the top. So when I decided to buy this I opted not to have like a carrying handle on the side um, because I knew that I wouldn't be carrying this on its own. So I have a carrying handle on the top so when it's in my bag I can grab the carrying handle and just pull it out quite easily um, and it's just a bit efficient as well. Um, and inside um, the, the sort of like fabric that they've got on the inside is really nice, it's like plushy. Um, so it will not like scratch your laptop or um, cause any damage, it's quite padded as well. So the laptop itself is the 2019 13 inch MacBook Pro with um, upgraded RAM, so it's 16 gigabytes of RAM on this MacBook. Um, I chose to do that because I knew I'd be doing a lot of programming stuff during my um, during my degree and also I knew I'd be editing videos on there. So the MacBook is kind of upgraded, it's not the you know anywhere near the top line one. Um, but I bought this during the summer last year, so I got the um, sort of discount on there that Apple give for students. Um, and it's coming really handy. Um, you know, it's a really nice laptop. I've done all my programming stuff on there, pretty big projects as well, and it's not once you know hiccuped at all and, and nothing's ever like, glitched out on there, so pretty handy. Um, I've never really used a MacBook before. This is the first sort of Apple computer that I've ever used um, and it's really, really nice. Uh, it's probably not necessary for all students, but I knew I'd be using this pretty consistently for a few years. So, you know, I decided to make the investment into getting this. I also made a video, which was the previous video I made, um, on all of the apps and programs that I use on my MacBook on a daily basis to help me be more productive uh, digitally. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave it either up here or up here, whichever side the icon is on. Um, and you can check out what I actually run on my MacBook for doing my work. 
But the other stuff I got in my bag is the zip case on my laptop bag. Um, I carry this little Anchor uh, USB-C to USB 3.0. There's three USB 3.0s on there. There's a HDMI port and a Ethernet port. So with this one dongle, I can basically turn it into a regular um, desktop computer. So I've got all the USBs I'd need. Um, and I've also got a HDMI port for another monitor and an ethernet cable for faster internet. I also carry charging cables for some of my other devices, not really too interesting. Um, and I also carry with me my uh, Seagate four terabyte hard drive. I bought this probably four years ago, so it's a pretty old one by now. It's got a bunch of stickers on it, which I um, put on when I get a new tech product. Um, and it's coming really handy. It's probably half full now, by now, so in the past four years, I've basically filled it up halfway. Um, it's, you know, it's, it, I've dropped it a couple of times, which is probably not the best thing, but it's held up pretty well. It's not padded or anything, and uh, all of the storage on there is all intact, so uh, it's a really nice um, hard drive. It's probably not the fastest by today's standards, but it's definitely good enough for the files that I like to use with it. So next up is my files. Um, I carry these little folders um, for each of my modules. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I probably take two of these in, um, sometimes three, sometimes just one, depending on my schedule. But I always like to carry my work um, in paper form just because I find it easier to read. Um, and I like to section everything off with the little, you know, colored tabs as well. Um, but that's not too interesting, but I thought I'd show it anyway. This was from my mechanics. A module from the first semester and um, yeah I just carry one of these for each of my modules it's just easier to be able to organize all the stuff then when I'm in my room and going along with that I guess I'll show my notepad this is the Oxford campus refill pad um, I always opt to do my notes on paper um, and in like an analog form rather than digital um, and there's one main reason behind that is because I actually do a lot of maths and a lot of sort of scribbling and quick workings out which would be almost impossible to do on word or on um, a laptop so i do all of my maths work on paper it's just a lot easier and a lot quicker to write and then when i get back to my room then or if i go to the library or something i'll usually type out the work that i did um, in word or something like that just so it's easier for me to see and read later on but you know oftentimes i go through really long derivations or we'll go through long integrations and stuff like that and it's just really hard to be able to do that quickly on a macbook or on any laptop for that fact so i do it all on paper and then later on i'll go and transfer the most important parts of that note or that lecture um, onto a digital form as well so it's just easier to revise later on and i guess i'll show my last notepad um, this is my Leistrom or Leistrom 1917. I probably messed up the name there. But this is just like a, a general notepad which I use. Um, and by the way, the stickers here, these are ULA rocket stickers. Um, this is the Vulcan Centaur. The one on my MacBook is the Atlas V, I believe. Um, I got these off the ULA shop, which was uh, pretty cool. But anyway, the notepad itself is just this little one with um, like dots on the inside if you can see um, but I use this just for general notes and I basically chuck anything in here um, I've used it as a bullet journal um, quite a lot I haven't done that recently because I haven't had anything on um, but I've used it to plan out programming projects or I've used it to write down some of the stuff I did from a recent internship online um, I've also planned YouTube videos on here so it's just one of those like general notepads which sort of contain everything that I'm thinking about just so I don't have to store it in my mind um, and it's all in this notepad which I carry with me basically every day um, and for the days I do forget that I use that little notepad I showed earlier on um, but this is a really nice little notepad as well it's uh, like soft covered so it's not um, it can sort of bend around things if I got those in my bag um, and it's just a little nice notepad which I use I then have my water bottle. This is the black chilies bottle. Nothing too exciting here, but it's a quick, pretty nice bottle. Um, it keeps cold drinks really cold and hot drinks really hot. I usually just use this for water, but I have used it for tea and coffee before. And you know, I'll go into university two hours later and the tea is still boiling hot. Um, but I usually use it just for cold water, which is really good for. Um, and I like to drink a lot of water during the day. So that's what this is for.
really nice bottle. Next up is my headphones. These are the Beats Studio 3 wireless noise cancelling headphones. I picked these up for free actually with the Apple promotional offer that they give for students during the summer. So if you buy a MacBook from Apple in the summer, you I don't know if they actually still do it now, but last year anyway, they gave a free pair of Beats headphones for anybody who bought a MacBook, um, as well as five or 10% off the MacBook. So I picked up the black uh, Beats Studio 3 wireless headphones. They've been absolutely amazing. I, I've never had noise cancelling headphones before, but this comes super handy. Um, you know, when I'm walking into university, I listen to a podcast or I listen to some music and it basically cut off any traffic noise, any talking, um, and it just lets me relax in the morning a bit. I also really like using these when I go to the library to do work. Um, even though I don't like listening to music when I'm studying, I'll just chuck on the noise cancelling and it'll just cut off all the noise from people talking in the library or any just general background noise or get cut off because I like to work in complete silence. So this is really useful for that situation. Um, and I basically wear these every day just to listen to music anyway. Um, so I'm pretty happy to get these for free. I probably would have bought them anyway if I uh, didn't get them for free. And last up, I actually have the case for the headphones. I don't actually carry the headphones in the case. Instead, I carry my mouse, which is the um, Logitech MX Master. Uh, this is a wireless mouse and it's designed for productivity. It's really, really um, ergonomic, so your hand fits in it really nicely. And I never thought I'd say this, but having this mouse has probably boosted my productivity more than anything. Uh, just because I can get so much work done quicker on my MacBook using a mouse than I can with a trackpad. Um, and it's coming really handy for things like uh, programming, just because I can scroll through any of the resources that I like to use online to help me with that a lot faster, and I can just navigate my MacBook a lot better. Um, the customizable buttons, so there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons on this. Um, and you can customize all of those to whichever um, sort of thing that you want them to do. So there's a little button here, uh, which I usually click. If I click with my thumb and then swipe left or right, that will go between different desktops on my Mac. So that's probably the thing that I use the most. Um, but it's also got a really nice little side scroll wheel uh, for going across documents. And it's just overall a really nice mouse. And this is only the first generation of it. I believe there's three different versions of this mouse. But I got the first one and I think it was something like £40, £30, so it's not super expensive, but it's still pretty nice. Um, and the battery life on it, again, is, is really long. I, I probably charged this twice in the past year or past eight months. So again, it's been an amazing mouse and um, boosting my productivity loads. And that's it. That's everything that I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis. There are, of course, other things that I carry with me. Uh, for instance, I carry with me sometimes my textbooks. Um, this is my principle of physics textbook, but obviously this is really impractical to be able to carry around every single day. Um, I also sometimes carry with me um, like a little thermos cup, um, which is like a chili's bottle, but it's a bit thicker. Um, and it just lets me carry like food in it. So sometimes I carry rice or um, soup or stew or something like that just because university food can get pretty expensive and um, it's just cheaper to cook food on your own in your house and then take that in with you. Um, sometimes I'll take with me like snacks like protein bars or um, breakfast biscuits, breakfast bars, whatever you want to call them and it's just a lot cheaper to do it like that than to actually um, buy the food at university or um, in like some takeaway places or anything so I usually take food in with me I don't have that with me now obviously because I'm not planning on going anyway and sometimes as well I'll take a reading book uh, if I know that I've got a big block of time between different lectures sometimes I had like one lecture then two hours later I'd have another lecture and I didn't really want to walk back home and then come back in again so I just sit in the cafeteria area and just read or watch YouTube. So sometimes I take a book in, but it was never like an everyday sort of thing. The things I've showed today are basically what I take into university every single day. Um, and so hopefully you found this useful. Again, there'll be links in the description where you can um, pick up these products for yourself if you want to get any of them. Um, as well as that, I'll put a link to my blog, which is a productivity blog for students, if any of you are wondering. Um, as well as that, I'll put my Twitter and Instagram in the description as well. But other than all of that, I want to just say a big thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And um, if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But with that being said, 
I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.